สวัสดีทุกคน Hi everyone, I'm June. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be experiencing Thailand. Thailand, officially the Kingdom of Thailand, is a country in Southeast Asia. Thailand is a constitutional monarchy like the UK, Denmark, and Spain. If you'd like to know what constitutional monarchy is, please check my video about Denmark here. Thailand has a king as head of state, who is Ma Vajiralongkorn at the moment. He is the only son of the former king u m i b o l a d u l y a d e y and the queen s i r i k i l King a d u l y a d e y was the longest-serving monarch in Thai history. The current king b a j u l a r o n g k o n succeeded to the throne after his father's death in October 2016. Before 1932, Thailand was an absolute monarchy. On June 24, 1932, a group of people did a coup and changed Thailand to a constitutional monarchy. But Thai people started voting for a prime minister in an election in 1973. There were coups both before and after this year. Thailand had 12 coup d'états between 1932 and 2014. These are pewter but faces signed King's Pewter Thailand. Few scenes of Thailand are engraved here. Historically, the elephants in Thailand are considered to be very important culturally. There are many elephant references to artworks, literature, and national emblems. Thailand is a majority Buddhist country, and elephants are portrayed as sacred animals in the practice of Buddhism. Many artworks in Thai royal palaces and temples have drawings of elephants on the paintings on the walls. The Thai elephant is also the official national animal of the country. Known for their strength and intelligence, elephants were used as war elephants since the days of Alexander the Great. Mostly, the male elephants that are aggressive yet tameable were selected to be war elephants. They were trained with lightly pricked spear on the skin in order for them to move forward. Here, you can see the elephants hauling the heavy logs. Logging is banned in Thailand since 1989, but before that, it had been the primary occupation of the Thai elephants and their mohawks. After the ban, elephant trainers had to find a way to feed themselves and the elephants. So most of them took their elephants to Bangkok, roaming the streets with baskets of fruits for the tourists to buy and feed the animal. Elephants now had to beg for food and perform tricks in exchange for money. 2010, elephant protection laws were passed, making these acts illegal. Here you can see the floating market. A floating market is a market where goods are sold from boats. It's originated in times and places where water transport played an important role in daily life. But today, most floating markets mainly serve as tourist attractions. This scene shows people with carrying pole. Carrying pole, also called a shoulder pole or milkmaid yoke, is a yoke of wood or bamboo used by people to carry the load. It is still widely used in East Asia and was once also used in Europe and the Western world, in particular by milkmaids. It has been used in the United States, Australia, and Europe. This shows Thailand's royal barge procession. It is a ceremony both religious and royal significance, which has taken place for nearly 700 years. The royal barges are a blend of craftsmanship and traditional Thai art. The royal barge procession takes place rarely, marking only the most significant cultural and religious events. 
It consists of 52 barges, 51 historical barges, and the royal barge which King Rama IX built in 1994. These barges are manned by 2,082 oarsmen. The procession proceeds down the Chao Phraya River from the Wasakri Royal Landing Place in Ketutusi, passes the temples of the Emerald Buddha, the Grand Palace, Wat Po, and finally arrives at Wat Arun. I think it's the Wat Arun in the background here. Wat Arun, translated to Temple of Dawn, is a Buddhist temple in Bangkok, which is among the best known of Thailand's landmarks. The temple derives its name from the Hindu god Aruna, often personified as the radiation of the rising sun. If you only visit one major historical tourist attraction in Bangkok, this should be the Grand Palace. The palace has been the official residence of the kings of Siam and later Thailand since 1782. The king, his court, and his royal government were based on the grounds of the palace until 1925. King Bhumibo Adulyade and his successor, King Maha Bajra Longkorn, both resided in the Juzi Palace, but the Grand Palace is still used for official events. Several royal ceremonies and state functions are held here every year. The famous Wat Phra Keo is located within the precincts of the Grand Palace. This temple is commonly known in English as the Temple of the Emerald Buddha which is venerated as the country's palladium. This temple is regarded as the most sacred Buddhist temple in Thailand. The Wat Pho will make an excellent addition to the palace tour. It is the oldest temple in Bangkok. It has long been considered a place of healing and centuries ago, it was famous for its pharmacy and as Thailand's first university. You can get a Thai or food massage at the traditional medical school on the premises, but the prices are much higher than elsewhere in the city. Today, Wat Pho is best known for the Temple of Reclining Buddha, 45 meters long and 15 meters high. In the center of the busy square, in front of the Wat Sutta, stands one of Bangkok's most eye-catching sites. The 27 meter high teak frame of the so called giant swing. It was built in the 1700s to be used as part of traditional Hinduist ceremonies. The swing was damaged by lightning and became just decorative. Maybe you have already noticed, but what means temple in Thai? There are many other wats to visit in Bangkok, but also museums, markets, and shopping malls must be great places to visit. Thai food was traditionally eaten with the hand while seated on mats or carpets on the floor or a coffee table in upper middle class family. Customs still found in the more traditional households. Today, however, most Thais eat with a fork and a spoon. Important to Thai dining is the practice of kluk, mixing the flavors and textures of different dishes with the rice from one's plate. The food is pushed by the fork held in the left hand into the spoon held in the right hand, which is then brought to the mouth. A traditional ceramic spoon is sometimes used for soup and knives are not generally used at the table. Chopsticks for foreign utensils to most ethnic groups in Thailand, with the exception of the Thai Chinese. Chopsticks are mainly used in Thailand for eating Chinese-style noodles, or at Chinese, Japanese, or Korean restaurants. The noodle dishes are eaten with a fork and spoon in the Thai fashion. Thai meals typically consist of rice with many complementary dishes paired by all. The dishes are all served at the same time, including the soups, and it is also customary to provide more dishes than there are guests at the table. There are so many Thai dishes, but I will show you only the food which I ate before. Pad Thai is maybe the most famous one. It's rice noodles, pan fried with fish sauce, sugar, lime juice or tamarind pulp, chopped peanut and egg combined with chicken, seafood or tofu. It is listed at number 5 on the world's 50 most delicious foods readers complied by CNN Go in 2011. Tom Yum is hot and sour soup with meat, with shrimp, 
It is called Tom Yam Gung. With seafood, typically shrimp, squid, and fish, Tom Yam Tal. With chicken, Tom Yam Kai. Som Tom is grated green papaya salad. Som Tom is usually eaten with sticky rice, but a popular variation is to serve it with rice noodles instead. Cheng Kiao Wan, called green curry in English, is also popular. It's a coconut milk curry made with fresh green chilies and flavored with Thai basil and chicken or fish meatballs. This dish can be one of the spices of Thai dishes. I made the Pad Thai in two variations, one with chicken and one with shrimps. See you in the kitchen! Thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe. See you next Friday. Sawadee Tukon. Sawadee Tukon. Sawadee Tukon. Sawadee Tukon. Sawadee Tukon. It was hard to pronounce hello in Thai. 
But you know what? I checked how to say goodbye in Thai, and it was bye. Bye.